In high school, you learn that DNA has two strands, a double helix with 46 chromosomes. What exists behind the physical DNA is a template. This template is an energetic blueprint that has an additional 10 etheric strands that have been labeled junk. Scientists have yet to discover the purpose of junk DNA, but the answer is simple. The junk is simply fragmented DNA that contains unplugged information. The dormant DNA contains a non-physical component that is waiting to be turned on. The junk has purpose. If the fragmented 97% DNA is activated and plugged in, what happens to you and your body? From a physical perspective, your DNA will encode protein. From a spiritual perspective, you connect to your higher self and your divine purpose. You experience freedom from debt, suffering, overwhelm, stress, and poor relationships. Everything in life is controlled by frequency. The frequency by which you oscillate is determined by your DNA activation. For example, a low frequency brings conflict, limitation, and stress. When you raise your frequency, you attract a new grid of people, places, jobs, abundance, time, and events. This is new opportunity. You are embodying your higher self, the One. This happens in line with your higher self in divine right timing and divine right order. You no longer manifest chaos. Most humans are unable to manifest all their higher self because of distortions. In order to understand the answer, it is important to understand the past. Dramvala Melchizedek explained how a cataclysmic event caused humanity to fall from higher levels of consciousness thousands of years ago. This caused humanity to disconnect from their higher self and forget its multidimensional nature and memory. As an outcome, humans started breathing prana through their nose and mouth, bypassing the pineal gland. This resulted in humanity seeing the world from an interpretation of good and evil, sin and righteousness, war and peace, which is duality consciousness. The result of this fall is that we had a chromosome breakage, separating us from our higher levels of consciousness and keeping us locked in the loop of mortality and death. DNA restoration is the path to return us back to where we originally were. Thus, DNA activation is necessary for the ascension and spiritual evolution of humanity. The original blueprint was a natural integration of one's higher consciousness in one lifetime. Due to distortions in the earth grids, we are unable to embody our higher self or ascend, which keeps us in a constant cycle of birth and death. Reincarnation was not the natural evolutionary process of the original human lineage. The distortions in the earth grids have created distortions within our DNA template because we share the same holographic reality. This has resulted in an inability to undergo the natural process of biological ascension. The original human body was designed to embody 12 dimensions of consciousness in one lifetime. The original divine template was designed to naturally activate DNA strands 4, 5, and 6, corresponding to chakras 4, 5, and 6, by the age of 12. Strands 7, 8, and 9, corresponding to chakras 7, 8, and 9, by the age of 22. Strands 10, 11, and 12, corresponding to chakras 10, 11, and 12, by the age of 33. And finally, strands 13, 14, and 15, corresponding to chakras 13, 14, and 15, by the age of 44. Most people have only three to three and a half DNA strands activated, which means you can only experience a maximum of three dimensions of consciousness and limited growth. There are 15 dimensions in our time matrix. The 15 dimensions break down into five harmonic universes called Hue. We live in Hue 1, which encompasses dimensions 1, 2, and 3, and holds our physical body. 
Hugh two holds dimensions four, five, and six, and our soul. Hugh three holds dimensions seven, eight, and nine, and our oversoul. Hugh four holds dimensions ten, eleven, and twelve, and our avatar, which is often called our Christ consciousness. Hugh five holds dimensions thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, which is our Rishi identity. You've probably heard gurus use these terms when describing the spiritual path of enlightenment. When you receive DNA activation, these fragmented parts are healed and reassembled, creating a true state of at one ment with Source. This is the true evolutionary path of human consciousness. When you embody your higher self, you experience ascension. Earth and humans are in the midst of what is called a stellar activation cycle, which occurs every 26,556 years. Stellar activation cycles are important periods of time because it is during these times that the process of biological ascension is accelerated. Ascension can only happen when DNA is activated. Golden DNA activation is the process of accreting more light to the divine template to restore its natural blueprint through the use of sacred geometrical codes and commands. The angelic human being has the potential encoded in their DNA template to embody a 12-strand Diamond Sun DNA template. For the indigos, they are able to embody 12, 24, or 48 strands and thus 12, 24, or 48 dimensions of consciousness. The activation is created through the use of a protocol created by Toby Alexander and Yvonne Delaflor Alexander, which is the use of commands and codes. The geometrical codes are scalar waves that initiate the activation of the DNA on a quantum level. Golden DNA activation is required for ascension and is like an operating system upgrade from source. It is like downloading the most efficient and self-actualizing divine operating system. DNA activation upgrades your life from chaos, drama, anxiety, inherited imprints, shadow self, debt, suffering, overwhelm, stress, poor relationships to the original sacred God gold print. You are able to embody your higher self, attain self-mastery, find your life purpose, remember who you are, instantly reinvent yourself, and attract a higher grid of people, places, times, and events. You attract your true soul family. Just think, if you activate strand 4, you activate your heart chakra and the ability to cultivate unconditional love for yourself and others. If all of humanity took this step, there would be no more wars, as you would see an attack on another person as an attack on yourself, for we all are one. To take the next step, go to my website to schedule an appointment. I wish you joy in your journey, and much love to you.